Hi everyone. Uh, today in this session we'll see how we can write our protector test in Eclipse Editor, in Eclipse ID. Alright, so uh, this is the official site of Eclipse ID, eclipse.org and here you could see uh, different releases of the Eclipse version and you can choose the latest version to download Eclipse and whether, whether you can go for photon package or the oxygen package. So if you go, uh, I have clicked on oxygen package. So uh, you could see different Eclipse ID editors are available on the official side of Eclipse. So you could select whether Eclipse ID for Java uh, EE developers or you could select uh, uh, Eclipse ID for JavaScript and web developers. Since uh, uh, in Protector we are using JavaScript, we are, write, we are writing our test cases in JavaScript. So I would recommend uh, download this Eclipse ID for JavaScript so that it will be uh, more focused for the JavaScript functionality. So Eclipse ID will be uh, ready-made for you for handling JavaScript related uh, files and you have two options like you can select this for JavaScript as well and if you don't want this then uh, it's perfectly fine you can also uh, download Eclipse ID for Java EE developers. So uh, just click on this link and click on next 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 so Eclipse will be installed. Uh, the main thing uh, which I would like to cover in this session is like once you have Eclipse ID available so this is uh, Eclipse ID for Java uh, for JavaScript developers, right? Uh, so you will have a script ID. The next step is you have to install one very important plugin, which is Done plugin. In order to uh, write your protector test in Eclipse ID, you need to have a Done plugin. So let's see how we can uh, download and install Done plugin into Eclipse editor. So you just need to go to this help section and here if you go uh, in this menu you could see eclipse marketplace so you just need to go to this eclipse marketplace so it will open up another window like this and here uh, you will need to type turn t e r n turn plugin you just need to click on this go button now you could see uh, turn eclipse id for this and, and it's written over here turn.js is a standalone code analysis engine for javascript written in javascript all right and don't install the first one because it is deprecated and out of support so i would recommend just uh, install this turn eclipse id so using this plugin in eclipse editor you can write your protector test in eclipse id you just need to click on this install button let's click on install and uh, another window comes up and here you just need to uh, select i accept the terms of the license agreement and click on finish button so right now as you could see it's installing the software so it will install and after the installing we just need to restart our eclipse and after that uh, we can write our protected test in Eclipse ID. Now, as you could see, the installation is, uh, I mean, the software is installed and it's asking that you will need to restart Eclipse for the changes to take effect. Would you like to restart now? You just need to click on this restart now button. I'll click on restart now button. All right, so I have just restarted my Eclipse editor. Uh, now uh, this is a sample project right now so what is the next step so this is a simple uh, plain project which you can create uh, in Eclipse editor just click on file new and file new and here you can set, you can create JavaScript project or simple project so I had created this project you just need to select on this project and project just click on next and give your project name and click on finish so a uh, simple project will be created and what is the next step so you just need to uh, right click on this project because now we want to use the turn plugin right we have installed turn plugin into eclipse editor now we would like to use turn plugin so just create a simple project and you just need to right click on the project and go to this option configure and if you see here configure you will get the option like convert to uh, 
so uh, once you right click on this and if you see the configure option here you will see different options so here you, here you will get convert to done project right so you just need to create a simple project and after that you need to convert that project into done project so just click on this convert to done project once we click on this we will get uh, different uh, properties properties for the project product automation right so here uh, once we are converting a simple project into a done project we will get different options here so since we are uh, working on protector automation so we will select this angular js option this browser browser extension and uh, we'll select here you go here we have this protector modules right protector just click on this protector also and uh, there should be jasmine as well so once you click on protector jasmine is also uh, get selected okay so uh, in node.js uh, everything is a modules so this uh, turn project is asking you here which modules you want to include so we have included angular.js browser browser extension because we will be running on browser or automation and uh, some are uh, auto selected by default and the main thing is this jasmine module and this protector module and i would suggest just select node.js and node.js extension also that's it i think that's all and now i just you just need to click on apply and close and here you are seeing validation settings the validation settings have changed so just click on yes so it will validate the project okay now uh, this project is empty now we can create any javascript file a file and you can create like uh, test case one dot js for example just click on finish and let's see uh, if we type browser Here you could see now this auto suggest option is coming and these are all coming from uh, protector module right here you could see for example uh, we want to launch any uh, browser so we use generally browser.get in protector so if we press control space then here you could see all the definitions right like uh, get destination it is coming from protector here you could see origin right protector and if you are seeing get current url again corresponding to get current url we can see the description this could use a command to retrieve the url of the current page origin is protector which is it is coming from protector api okay uh, same way uh, if we are writing describe block in protector if you press control space and here you could see this describe describe function describe spec definitions and in the description you could see its origin is jasmine which means describe keyword is coming from jasmine framework so in protector automation uh, we use jasmine framework as because jasmine is a bdd framework so and we write our test cases in javascript and we use the protector api for automation and to uh, run the test or to uh, format or to uh, organize the test we use bdt framework so describe log is from the jasmine framework so these kind of uh, description we can see in eclipse editor using the uh, turn plugin so this is all about uh, it block and it is also coming from the jasmine framework right and in protected test uh, generally we write our test cases in describe block describe block represents test two and it block represents one test case so in any protector uh, test you could see describe blog it blocks all right so with the help of this uh, turn plugin uh, in eclipse editor now uh, you can uh, i mean we can write our test cases in protector sorry in eclipse id and we can also run those test cases from eclipse id no problem in that all right so that's all i wanted to cover uh, in this session like how we can configure eclipse id 
to run to write our protected te protected test and how to see the auto suggest options so it will help in coding and uh, and we can also execute our test cases from eclipse editor that we will cover in next section so that's all i wanted to cover in this session and thank you so much for watching see you in the next session bye bye